My name's Simon Fenton and I'm the Head of Games at Escape Studios. Through my career, I've been an animator, a character modeler, and then I eventually settled on the thing I love most, which is essentially environments and art design for environments. Skills needed to be a games artist. Key thing is to essentially have a good eye and to train yourself to look at details and understand basic art concepts like proportions and form and color and light. We use Unreal Engine, but also there's Unity. And the key thing is that if you want to enter the market, you need to show an understanding of how to use a games engine. So as well as being able to use software, you need to be able to communicate effectively. You need to be able to present your work. You need to be able to work as a team member, be flexible. You need to be able to take criticism and also be able to give productive feedback as well. Video games has been one of the most democratic jobs that you can get. It doesn't really matter where you come from. It doesn't matter whether you've taught yourself or whether you've gone to university. All that matters is your portfolio. And if your portfolio is good enough, you're halfway there. In terms of you showing off your skill set, it's about picking projects that are targeted. Look at any of your favorite games, look at how, what the work looks like and start to emulate that. Start to look at um, artists and art station, start to network and that's where soft skills come in. By networking, you start to kind of gain some kind of understanding um, in terms of how artists talk, how they communicate, what's important to them. And over a period of time, start producing work, learning 3D, learning texturing, getting that stuff into a game engine and asking for advice and feedback. Don't rest on your laurels. Always try and make sure that you're permanently learning new skills and staying ahead of current trends and then just have passion. They're the key things.